Okay, so basically what we've done is we've dug an 18 inch hole with a perimeter for the pond, laid the liner in it, put a little bit of sand in the bottom of it so that it won't, the brick that we've put down for the uh, pump isn't going to puncture the liner. And in doing so, we ended up with a whole lot of silt because I didn't use washed sand. Use washed sand. I didn't do that. My mistake. So, but no, regardless, we need a biological filter. And this is what I come up with. This material right here is just um, the material that you use to cut your own size filter material for your HVAC system, your air conditioning system inside the house. Or you can use it for swamp coolers if you have that. All of this I purchased at Home Depot with the exception of one thing. This is the fine pad. It's actually a buffing pad that you get at the rental department of a Home Depot that has the rental section for their floor buffers. And I just cut it to shape. This is just a regular HDX 12 gallon tough tote. And then in the bottom here, I've got just a regular plant basket. Let me grab this one. It's just a regular plant basket that you get in the garden section at Home Depot, aquatic plant basket. Really easy to cut with a knife if you need to, which I did to lower the, the height of it and also to put a hole in it for my tubing. So here's the trick. You get your pump. It has two options usually, any of your pond pumps, one for a filter, one for your little fountain, and then you want what i did is half inch going in from the pump and then you want to double your size going out so let's say you have a big pond you want one inch going in you need two inch going out because the out back into the pond whether it's over a waterfall or just directly in is gravity fed waterfall basically okay so what i did was in some of the desi designs I saw on YouTube, they had the water going into the bottom and out the top, or into the top and out the top, and that kind of eliminates the use of a whole lot of your filter media that you put in there. Speaking of filter media, this green stuff, this is the bag it comes in. It's just natural air, cut to fit. It's about an inch thick, fibrous. And then I went to Walmart and I got 12 bags of these. You just fill the bottom of this. This is where all your organism and your bacteria is gonna grow. Instead of using bio balls, just use this. And it works really well. And you just throw them in there and that's it. These don't, buy, these don't fall apart really easily. And then the basket is for my gravity fed tube of water going back out. So the water goes in goes through the, the filter and then back up through these holes and gravity feeds back out. So with a simple elbow, I just uh, put a basket around it in order to protect the uh, water going back in so it's the cleanest as possible. Can you see on the inside of the basket? So this just sets up like this the bio balls or whatever you're going to use for your media for your filtering just goes down here and this way the bacteria and all your silt and everything will go to the bottom the little basket has enough holes in it to let water flow through it really easily it goes into the tube and just rises with the water level and then goes back out into your pond so the water in is from your pump Basically what I did, if you can see this, both sides, I used some electrical connectors. Instead of getting the store-bought pieces to uh, waterproof your inlets and outlet, which are $15, $16 a piece, this was like two bucks. And a couple of washers, 
you just want to make sure you've got a, an o-ring on this side to seal it you don't make your holes too big you use the connector on the other side and you just screw it down and voila you're done you can glue these pieces you can glue these pieces if you want to I don't recommend that you do that because that way you can easily clean them up if you need to if they're snug like these are they, you should have no problem get my basket down back in there of course it never gave me a problem while I wasn't videotaping but now it is all right there we go let's rearrange these then I take my white pad which is the fine pad and I put it with a little slit right down the center and I cut out a little hole. It fits right in there like this. Take the green pad, put it in there as well. I did basically the same thing. I just cut it to fit the shape of the basket. It doesn't have to be perfect, but close enough is good enough. And just for shits and giggles, I put in a, a third one, which isn't necessary, but the more filtration you're gonna have, the better. The cleaner your water is going to be. Then I made a little manifold to disperse the water within here. And basically what I did is I built this little thing. This is a piece of flex that, uh, of course, I can't get apart right now. But <laughs> anyway, this is a piece of flex that you get. It's 18 inches long. You drill some holes in it. I think I drilled like 9 64ths or 7 64th inch holes and then I used some holes into the PVC there. The, the holes in the bottom of the intake are a bit bigger and I only uh, drilled the holes all the way around the pipe but I used um, like a quarter inch bit and probably about 30 holes all the way around it for about two inches so that way it has enough flow going in oh there it goes see it's just a piece of flex and I just drilled along the inside I put a hole there put a hole there put a three on each of these and then voila and I glued some of these together however I left the edges the ends apart so that way I can clean it if I need to and stick that on there it's pretty snug now we'll just put our buy a barbed connector hook up your three-quarter inch line and let's plug it in and see what it looks like obviously this is not going to be my electrical source but here we go see and the water just kind of distributes throughout it'll gravity feed down through the filter media and then when it's clean through the filter media and the bacteria that cleans the water, it'll come up this side and gravity feed out the other end. And all of this cost probably no more than $60. It sure beats buying an already made filter at a pawn store for two, $300 and it works just as well this is the lid it's just a regular home depot lid i'm gonna submerge a lot of that box over there into the hill that i've created with the dirt from the pond and uh, i'll you can paint spray paint this black or whatever you want to do you can even put dirt on top of it and a little statuette or something or even a flat rock to make it look more natural there in the landscape. But whatever plants we're gonna put around here and, and eventually plant, it'll, it'll make it really pretty. But this is gonna really clean the water and it doesn't cost a whole lot of money to do. And there you have it. Homemade bio filter for a pond.